Good morning. Oh, that sounded horrible. Good morning. It's Monday. It's what I wore. What is this? May. You guys are getting what I wore May. Anyways, I'm excited to bring you a whole nother week. I feel like lately, do I say this every time? Maybe I do, but I feel like lately for some reason I've been gathering lots of new things, I guess as I usually do, which I feel like there's some thoughts on that. I might need to like slow it down a little bit. I feel like the closet's getting a little overwhelming. I think I will be getting rid of some stuff. So stay tuned on my Insta stories because I do like to sell things every now and then. Okay, anyways, um, gonna get dressed today. And I don't know if you remember, but I got those fun checkered, what I like to call clown shorts when I went thrifting with Steely when we were um, up at the Goodwill in LA. And I haven't worn those shorts yet. It's getting warmer, so I feel like I could maybe bust out a pair of shorts. My legs are shaved. So I think I'm going to try to create an outfit around those shorts. We will see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure there are some of you who will not like this creation, but I think it's really fun, especially for Monday. You gotta spice up Monday, you know what I mean? Like I said, I wanted to wear those shorts and they almost have a PJ vibe to them. And then this blouse totally could be like a Victorian PJ top. So I paired it with that. I pulled out my little Ralph Lauren, kind of Mary Jane type little shoes. This straw bag, which I love from Madly Vintage. I did this Vanessa Mooney little a uh, scarf that I've been wearing a ton with a kind of a low pony like this. And then my go-to black sunnies. I don't really do any uh, jewelry for this look because I just feel like there's so much <laughs> happening in this outfit. So, from the bottom to the top. <gasps> that is what my Monday looks like. I will, I think it's a fun Monday. I'm feeling good. Okay, see you guys tomorrow, bye. <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday. I have some purple pants that I've been wanting to wear. So today is gonna be a purple pants day and I'm gonna build a look around it. I kinda had some thoughts last night before I went to bed because that's when I often think of my outfit ideas. So I think I'm gonna go with what I was thinking about in bed. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Tuesday for you guys. I had bought these purple pants and I hadn't worn them yet. Gave myself the challenge of wearing some purple pants and this is what I came up with. Okay, to kind of make this outfit a little bit more fun. I mean, purple pants are fun, so come on. But anyways, I did this tropical shirt, which was so funny because I thought about it last night wearing it with the pants and I didn't even realize it had purple in it and it does. So that was the perfect match. Popped more color with the lips and the earrings. Threw on the Vans to kind of give it a more casual look. And then this bag is Welcome Companion. So you can check them out. I think they still have these. They're really great. Kind of a fun little combo here on my Tuesday from the bottom to the top. That's it. That's my Tuesday. Feeling good about it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It's Wednesday hump day. So recently I feel like I've been for some reason kind of craving ladylike pieces like pleated skirts and dresses. Just very lady. Ladies who lunch. But it's all about with pieces like that I feel like it's always about styling it in a way that feels effortless, a little more casual, maybe throwing in like a juxtaposition of something tough with the ladylike look, so I don't know where exactly I'm going, but I do wanna pull out one of my recent ladylike pieces that I bought and try to style up a look with that. So that is what I'm doing today. I think this 
turned out really, I keep saying the word fun. I think this turned out really fun. Sorry, using it again. Like I said, I started with this ladylike skirt and actually two ladylike pieces. So I recently got this yellow kind of ladylike vest and then I got this blue skirt. But then to kind of give it a casual, more playful look, I did this Adidas crop tank top. And I think layering the necklaces gave it an even more effortless look as well. Fun little cat eye sunglasses, gold ladylike earrings, maybe even ladylike but snakeskin bag. I think putting on my Steve Madden mules gives it more of a relaxed feel. So it was all about mixing kind of everything together. Lots of different ladylike, effortless, kooky. That's how I roll. From the bottom to the top. There we go, that's my look for Wednesday. Feeling good, see you guys tomorrow, bye. <laughs> Good morning, it's Thursday. I have no idea where I'm starting today, which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. So let's see what happens and what I come up with. outfit is very me. Lately I've been wearing a lot of color, which I love color, and I dive into color big time, but I'm a neutrals girl, just a high waist pant, throw on some brown, some cream, some neutral brown, black, all that good stuff, and that feels very much me. So today, it's a Beth day. This look started Hmm, where did it start? I think it started with my brown pants and I started there and then kept it kind of simple with just this basic. This is LACA USA, I think it is. And it's a great brand that makes just really um, amazing essential pieces like a good cream ribbed tee and it fits really well. This coat is one that I got when I was doing my Carrie Bradshaw thrift shopping. It often feels like Doc what was his name? Doc from Back to the Future. But I love it. And so kind of threw this over it. Went with my leopard mules. Little handle bag that I've been using a lot. Simple gold earrings. Very Beth to throw on this scarf. I'm talking about myself as a third person. You guys know what I mean. Uh, my brown uh, cat eye sunnies that I got at Crossroads. Fun little pendant that I always wear. Yeah, very me today. So from the bottom to the top. That's what I'm wearing on my Thursday. Okay, see you guys tomorrow, bye. Good morning. It's Friday, my favorite day to get dressed. I always feel inspired on Friday because it's the beginning of the weekend. It feels more fun and exciting no matter what's going on. I've talked about this this week is that I've kind of been into this idea of like ladylike dressing, but a twist on ladylike dressing, and I've kind of been trying to find more skirts and dresses and then work them into my everyday looks. I'm such a trouser and pant girl that I've been challenging myself to kind of get outside that box a little bit and play with dresses and skirts and all of that. So today I just recently found a few amazing dresses, and so I kind of want to work with one of those dresses, but make it more of an everyday look versus, you know, like a fancy dress look, so. That's where I'm starting. always the best days. I feel like I really do love to get dressed on Friday and this outfit is definitely a perfect crazy exciting Friday outfit. Okay this dress is just amazing. I do feel like it looks a little bit like a ice skaters costume. Wouldn't that be amazing? 
skating on the ice. Anyways, so this amazing dress I wore over these pants that I just got at Crossroads and you guys saw me get them recently. It's not really super warm yet, so I paired them with some boots just to kind of give it more of like an edgy look. Went with my low pony and my scrunchie that I've been wearing a lot. These big fun gold earrings, white cat eye shades that I got at Crossroads, and then this vintage clutch that I got when I was thrifting in South Carolina. You know, carrying it like this. So from the bottom to the top. That is my Friday for you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> It's Saturday. It's an easy Saturday. Not doing too much today, so I'm gonna keep it really casual. But I feel like this happens to me every now and then where I feel a little bit of an outfit slump. And that just means, I don't know, I'm just not as inspired or I don't know, just things aren't clicking along the way I like them to. So whenever I'm in a slump, I just channel the ultimate icon, Carrie Bradshaw. Started with the hair. I curled my hair and did it really big today. So I'm going to channel carry maybe on an easy Saturday. What would that look like? So that's where I'm starting. an easy Saturday look that I'm really loving. I got this shirt when I was thrifting up in LA with Steely and I have yet to wear it so it was really fun to pull it out today and paired it with these army pants that I wear all the time that I got shop future and then just to put a little color in I threw on these little slip-on blue shoes that are just so much fun and another little fun handle bag one from Crossroads a few little necklaces some big Carrie Bradshaw hair, fun little rhinestone earrings, and that's it. So, from the bottom to the top. That's it, that's my Saturday look for you guys. I will see you tomorrow, bye! It's Sunday, sorry, you're not in my closet, you're here, I'm already dressed, and that's because I'm just throwing a moo moo on today. It's a family day today and I really didn't want to think about what I was wearing too much so I just threw on my favorite moo moo. And here it is. It's my favorite moo moo. Barefoot. This. Big. Three days and haven't washed my hair. That's it. From the bottom to the top. Okay, that is my Sunday for you guys. I know, not super exciting, but this is reality and what I wanted to wear today. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week on my What I Wore. I, of course, love doing this for you. If you like this video, it would help if you give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and always play dress up. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>